The Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering is the biggest engineering prize in the world. This global prize, worth £1 million, rewards groundbreaking innovation of benefit to humanity. And by celebrating engineering that makes the world a better place, it also inspires the next generation. This prize is there to give uh, engineers aspiration for the future, to affect young people and to say it's important to do things well, it's great to achieve, it's great to be the excellent person in a field. It reinforces the idea in your mind that something really special is happening where engineers are doing great things and they're being celebrated in that way and it gets into people's consciousness. People can walk away with both an appreciation and a genuine curiosity for what technology and engineering can actually do. The fact is that no education is as broad as an engineering education is. The Queen Elizabeth Prize is the most important prize, the most influential prize in the world for engineering award. The prize celebrates the diversity of engineering and highlights how it affects all areas of our lives. Leading personalities from across the profession unite around the prize's aim to inspire the next generation of engineers by recognising engineering achievement today. And that message is clearly getting through. The spectacular thing about the Queen Elizabeth Prize is it shows the positive change that you can make as an engineer and that's what really made me become an engineer. I wanted to make a difference. Great engineering transforms lives. Awarded every two years, the inaugural prize in 2013 went to Tim Berners-Lee, Bob Kahn, Vince Cerf, Louis Poussin and Marc Andreessen, pioneers of the internet and World Wide Web. The impact of the first Queen Elizabeth Prize was to enable the global community to appreciate the fact that there is engineering in almost everything that they see on a day-to-day -day basis. In 2015, the prize showed how modern engineering crosses disciplines and helps produce new and emerging fields. It was awarded to a single individual, Dr. Robert Langer, for his work in biomedical engineering facilitating the treatment of diseases such as cancer and mental illness that have touched the lives of over two billion people. I feel so proud and privileged to receive the Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering. It's the largest engineering prize in the world and a prize that aims to inspire young engineers throughout the world to participate in this great endeavor. It's been estimated that his inventions have directly helped 100 million people and have the potential to help hundreds of millions more. From internet technology to biomedical engineering, what will the next winner be? Eminent judges and donor companies reflect the prize's breadth and importance, as well as showcasing the role that engineering has played both professionally and personally. It's very important to say to people, you are using the product of engineering. If I immigrate into a country and you have to fill in the forms and they and, and they ask for your profession, I always write engineer, because I think that's, that's who I am. The Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering is a truly international initiative. In 2015, it launched the Create the Future report, which revealed the different attitudes to engineering across different age groups in 10 countries. It's the first international survey of its kind. Even the prize itself is a showcase for engineering, as young people can enter the worldwide Create the Trophy competition and see their design come to life. Queen Elizabeth II herself awards this prize, showing her support for celebrating and promoting engineering on an international stage. But this is not just about glamour and prestige. Behind the scenes, the Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering has appointed a network of ambassadors. This thriving and vibrant global community of young engineers is passionate about engineering. They reveal the diversity and opportunities offered by a career that makes a valuable contribution to society and the global economy, one that genuinely enables people to make a difference. We are building in Stevenage a rover that will go to Mars in 2020. And we have a Mars yard, so as an engineer, you can stand on Mars as part of your day-to-day -day job. When I see the top of the shard kind of poking up or appearing in 
unexpected places around London. It really is such a rewarding feeling knowing that I played a part in its design. I think the benefit of having this uh, close connection is basically to spread the word about what engineering is. I look to apply engineering principles to energy efficiency to find ways to make Starbucks a more sustainable company. Engineering is all about creativity, problem solving and people. And Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering events are all about people, bringing together leaders in the field and young and aspiring engineers who hope to follow in their footsteps. Within the Queen Elizabeth Prize we have the ideal opportunity to create a beacon to allow appropriate recognition for those individuals who have made such contributions and at the same time create a moment in time when society can see those things. The principal thing about it is that it's right up there in terms of making a, a really strong statement uh, to all engineers and the world as a whole that engineering is making a difference. But the whole thing is to help inspire, you know, young people, you know, that I could be, you know, the person who is winning this award and uh, standing on the stage and picking up. So that's why we're proud to support an initiative like this. I want to make sure that the prize lasts forever. Uh, because prizes get better over time and we can see great people being inspired uh, over 50, 100 years. Engineering will always be relevant.